In this question, we want to simplify the square root of 6 minus 2 times root 5. Any question that's written in the form the square root of x minus 2 root y can be simplified to the form square root a minus square root b. So we can see from our particular question that x would be equal to 6. We have here which is good and y would be equal to 5. So we'll start by writing our question down again. We have the square root of 6 minus 2 root 5 and we can write that as square root a minus square root b. We'll now square both sides like that and this square will cancel this square root sign. So we'll have 6 minus 2 root 5 equals root a minus root b all squared. So let's now expand the right side using perfect squares. We have 6 minus 2 root 5 equals root a squared minus 2 root a root b plus root b squared. We'll now simplify the right side. We have 6 minus 2 root 5 again equals root a squared is a. We have root b squared, which is b. So I'll group these two together. And in the middle term, we have minus 2 root a root b. We'll write that as minus 2 root a b. Let's match our numbers. We have a root a b here, and we have a root 5 here. So the a b will be equal to 5. And we see we have a plus b, and this will be equal to 6. So we have some simultaneous equations to solve. We have a plus b equals 6, that's equation 1. And we have a b equals 5, that's equation 2. Just by observing the two equations, we can see that a will be equal to 5 and b will be equal to 1. So we can write down the square root of 6 minus 2 root 5 equals root 5 minus root 1, which can be simplified to root 5 minus 1. This is your final answer. Notice also that I didn't choose a equals 1 and b equals 5. These are both valid answers to this problem, but the problem is that we need to have the larger number first. If we had the square root of 1 minus the square root of 5, we'll end up with a negative number, which we don't want. Thanks for watching.